having trouble passing in Madden 24? No! Whether you're throwing too many picks, no! taking way too many sacks, help me! Help me! Or if you can't connect on deep throws, you suck! This is the video for you. So if you want to find out how to get results like this, break yourself, fool! Thank you! Windows tinted on my ride when I drive in it. Stick around after the intro. For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. My first tip starts in the settings, as you have to choose your passing type before you even get into the game. Between classic, placement and accuracy, and placement and power. But to me, the only way to pass in this game and have long-term success is with placement and accuracy, or at the very least, placement and power, as the old-fashioned classic passing won't allow you to make certain throws, especially in the deep passing game, as you often have to leave the reticle for a lot of throws to be successful, and you don't have as much control as you do with these other passing options. So if you're not comfortable with either of these new passing types, but you want to be a better player i recommend making the commitment and switching over for long-term success even if you're having trouble in the short term the only difference between the two is that placement and accuracy gives you more control over the accuracy of the pass while placement and power leaves the accuracy portion of the pass to be determined by the quarterback's accuracy ratings so if you're using a team with a lowly rated quarterback with low passing accuracies you might want to think about using placement and accuracy if you are getting a lot of poorly thrown passes but if you are just starting out and you're new to the passing system start with placement and power first until you get the hang of the freeform reticle which i will go over next after selecting your passing type you will also have the option to select things like the speed at which the freeform reticle moves and the freeform reticle max distance which i recommend keeping at near for reticle speed the game starts you out at five but i set mine to seven for it to be a little bit faster if you have a different setup that you think works better please let everyone know in the comment section next i want to focus on blocking as you can't do anything without this being set up properly first i'm going to go over some protection calls and adjustments you can do to buy more time in the pocket but the formation you are in also has a lot to do with how much time you have to make a play for example any formation where the quarterback is under center like single back strong or i form will automatically give you less time in the pocket since the quarterback is closer to the line of scrimmage and therefore closer to the blitzing defenders compared to formations like shotgun and pistol where the quarterback starts much further away giving you more time to make a decision when under center your quarterback will also go through a longer drop back animation making it more difficult to throw the ball quickly with accuracy as it is harder to get your feet set until this is over while when in shotgun you do a much quicker one to two step drop before setting your feet and being able to throw right away to let a quarterback set their feet you just have to let go of the stick long enough for them to basically stop regardless of the formation you can always change your protection calls by pressing l1 or the left bumper then pressing the left or right stick to choose which direction the blocking will prioritize first on this play here i have the defense blitzing more defenders than i have blockers with six coming in on defense and only five linemen blocking to pick them up ideally i want to add another blocker but i'll go over that in a minute i just wanted to show you the difference that this adjustment can make if i make no adjustments at all i get instant a or b gap pressure right up the middle which is the fastest way to get to the quarterback but if i slide my protection to the left or right this will change where the pressure comes from buying me some more time and letting me know where i can go after the play starts if i slide my protection to the left i can also slide the quarterback in that direction and now the pressure comes from the far edge defender buying me a little bit more time and that's the same if i slide to the right one of the best ways to pick up a blitz is by simply pass blocking a running back or a tight end by hitting the wire triangle button and selecting them in the hot route menu then pressing the right trigger or the r2 button in combination with slide protection as simply blocking a running back often isn't enough without telling them where to go so if you're simply blocking your running back or tight end but the pressure is still getting in try adding a slide protection to the left or right and you will notice much better results if your running back is in a play action you can also turn them into a blocker faster by pressing the right trigger the r2 button after the snap and they will abandon the play action animation and block right away when facing man zero blitz defenses though it is sometimes better to put your additional blocker on a check and release route rather than have them on a straight up blocking assignment and this has more to do with covers than blocking if you pass block against man coverage the defender responsible is programmed to recognize this and they will immediately turn to a deep zone defender in the area often double teaming your best passing options so if you want to have your cake and eat it too try putting the same players in check and release routes instead and they will 
still pick up immediate blitzers while also holding their coverage assignments, essentially taking up two players at once and giving you the best of both worlds. Just know that these blocks will release eventually, so you still have to make a quick decision. You can also do things like motion snapping wide receivers, which is a surprisingly effective way to pick up blocks as well. All you have to do is motion a receiver across the formation and hike the ball while the receiver is inside the tackle box between the left and right tackle, and he will immediately abandon his route and turn to a blocker instead. If you're facing a player that likes to play on the defensive line, or if you're just facing an elite pass rusher, you can also double team them by pressing down on the right stick before selecting the player with the left stick that you want to be double teamed and pressing A or X to lock it in. This will make sure that two linemen will block them throughout the play, but it can also let other rushers in free, so use this sparingly. Although this can be improved by using with the slide protection function once again. Now that we have all of our blocking calls down, you still have to know how to navigate the pocket or you'll still get pressure anyways, as quarterback movement is directly linked to the effectiveness of the lineman's blocks. For example, if you move too erratically like running outside of the pocket or dropping back too far, it will trigger automatic block sets even without your opponent blitzing. In fact, any movement like sprinting or running will have this effect, so if you want more time in the pocket, you'll have to practice sliding in the pocket instead of always looking for ways to escape. When in the pocket, you have to set up your blocks just like you would when you're running with the running back. So to make your blocks hold up better, you just have to move less and slower, and you will notice that the blocks will hold up longer and better. You also have to position yourself in a way that takes away any leverage the pass rusher is trying to create by constantly resetting the pocket and placing the quarterback in a way that the offensive alignment is between you and the pass rusher. If you notice the linemen start to get too much leverage in either direction, that means he's going to get off the block. So you have to move the quarterback in a way that puts the blocker in between you and the rusher once again. And even if the lineman is winning dominantly, it will still reset the pass protection and give the blocker another chance. Doing all this is also about creating good throwing lanes so that your quarterback can deliver an accurate pass. As things like pressure from the lineman can create poor accuracy throws, but so can doing things like throwing off your back foot or throwing on the run. Ideally, you want to let your quarterback set their feet and step into the throw, which is also how you will pass lead, which is something you should do in every play, as there is always an advantage to be had. Simply using the left direction stick while pressing the passing icon will allow you to alter the pass anywhere within the reticle circle, but also holding in the left trigger or L2 button will allow you to leave that reticle circle for even more control and a bigger advantage that you can't get from classic passing. There are also different passing types that you can perform that will give you an advantage based on what type of defense you are facing. You can throw a bullet pass by holding down the passing icon, which is probably the one you'll use the most, as this is something you can do when trying to fit a ball in quickly between any two defenders on the field, man or zone. The only other type of pass is a lob pass, which you can get by tapping the icon and releasing it quickly, and this only has use when throwing the space. Think man cover coverage with no defender over the top, as the ball will hang in the air too long to be useful if there's a defender in the area and will most likely end up being intercepted. There's also catch modifiers which was something that should also be used on every single play as there's always an advantage to be had. If you throw a pass too close to a defender, you should always use the aggressive catch button by pressing Y or triangle as this will give you the best chance to either moss the defender, catch it through contact, or at the very least keep your opponent from being able to intercept it himself. If there is no defender in the area, you want to perform a rack catch by pressing the X or the square button button, as this will force your receiver to accelerate through the catch for bigger catch and run opportunities. But if there is a defender in the area, it will also cause more drops. The last one is safe catching, and I find it's also the most useful. If you ever throw a pass too close to the sideline or the back of the end zone, press A or X to perform a safe catch that will trigger the receiver to do a toe tap animation to try to stay in bounds. It can also help out when trying to squeeze a tight throw between defenders in the middle of the field, as performing a safe catch here will have the same effect, only this time the receiver will get down and try to shield the ball to ensure the defender doesn't knock it loose. If you're having trouble securing catches and getting too many drops, instead of trying to time the catch, try tapping the catch button repeatedly instead, as this will bypass the timing penalty and result in more easy catches. I use this tip on every catch attempt, whether on offense or defense, and if you watch my gameplays, ask yourself, have you ever seen me drop a pass? Your last passing option is to simply throw the ball away. If no one is open and you don't want to force a bad throw, simply push in the right stick and throw the ball safely out of bounds. So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more tip videos about passing or defense, I will have some other videos that I made about these similar topics popping up. So if you want to check them out, just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.